congratulations on yet another <clears throat> successful outing for this series. Um, how does it feel returning to these characters and has your approach changed them from film one to film two? Um, so much fun returning to the characters. I think it's always nice when you get to come back to a character, come back to cast members that you adore and a director that's great. And um, it's just really fun reuniting with everybody. And movie one, we shot in Bulgaria. Movie two, we shot in Dominican Republic. So it's so fun, the change of location. And it just felt like being on vacation with friends. It was that a blast. It did. That it did. Exactly. And getting back into this relationship, has that changed from film one to film two? Are you a lot more confident with each other now? Ginny and I were all, already pretty comfortable with each other. We're friends outside of the set and we've known each other for a long time. So it, it wasn't that much of a change in that regard, but I definitely think Travis and Abby have changed a little bit. And I think part of that is the realization that they're married now and they're stuck together regardless. Um, and I think the learning curves that are associated with that meant for a bit of character progression, which I think uh, plays in the movie quite nicely. Absolutely. I was going to say, I absolutely love the banter between your characters um, and your insults. Did you have a particular favorite one that you were like, oh, I can't wait to say this? I, I love throwing up on Dylan's face. So I was <laughs> super excited to throw up on Dylan again. Yeah. Always a good day at work when they, we get uh, to do that. They really love that, don't they? Um, any insults? I don't know. The... The scene that was fun is when you were saying, do not say the T word anymore. And I just had to say titties at you like 30 times. That was, that was funny. fun before you run off. That was a funny bit. I know that we improv that scene a few ways through, um, but on the day, that was a pretty funny one. That was funny. And Stephen Bauer, who was along with us, was great. So it was Hilarious. Alex Iono. Everyone was great that we yeah. worked with. So I never find the word titties not funny. It always gets me every time. Yeah, <laughs> he's great. It's really good. And you touched on it before, but um, how was it filming in the Dominican Republic in this gorgeous paradise? So much fun. I mean, we had so many pina coladas and great like tropical beverages. And um, yeah, I mean, it felt like being on vacation. It was every location was stunning. And um, I had was tan for once in my life. So that was nice. You weren't, but <laughs> I was tan for me. You did your best. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite sequences is the wrestling sequence. How was it developing it with this young girl and having this so much fun with her? Well, she was a stunt woman, so she was like on incredible. Um, very professional. Very professional, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, we really hadn't choreographed much, much or rehearsed much at all. We just kind of like felt it out on the day, but um, it ended up being really fun and silly. And, you know, Abby's not meant to be a fighter, so it didn't have to look like I knew what I was doing. It was just fun. Um, so it was just like a silly, silly fun day in a hot tent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to look at the outfit as well beforehand and go, yes, I can't wait to what play a Nacho Libre wrestler? I mean, it was hilarious. I had no idea when I saw it scripted what to expect for this cat outfit, but it was so fun. And my husband actually um, has a cameo in the movie where he's right outside that tent and he has the tambourine and he's singing. His name is Jimothy. So it was fun. To, it was fun to get to act with my husband. <laughs> Amazing. And as the fighter in the first one, did you give her any tips on like how to get the fighting and the coordinating down? Jenny pretty much took to it. Uh, you're pretty I felt like you had some anger you needed to get. Out. Um, uh, no, there was definitely some stuff in the actual scene. Travis is coaching her through it uh, towards the latter end of it, which is pretty fun. Um, but no, Jenny's a consummate professional, dude. Just went in there flying off the rails. Thanks, man. Doing just you, you could, you're born for it. I mean, you do. Like you said, you get put through the ringer a lot because you, there's mud, there's vomit, there's there's cockerels, there's there's wrestling. Was there any scene that you like kind of hesitated on doing or like found particularly difficult? Uh, you know, the mud scene was challenging for me. Mud's tough. Mud's tough. And it wasn't like fake mud. It was real mud and it was two days and the mosquitoes were super drawn to the mud and it was real warm. And... I will say that it's... Uh... It's always the second day, isn't it? Getting back in what you had to do the first day, like a day full of mud, and then going back into it is devastating. And there was rocks in the mud, so me and Rob were just scratched up with these like micro scratches that just like burn and sting from all the rocks. And I was finding mud in places one should not find mud. It was, uh, <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> 
this feels like a really weird segue to go from finding mud in different places. But one of the things that I get fascinated with in, in filmmaking is intimacy coordinators, um, especially with comedy sex scenes. Um, and you've got a great one in this in this film in the beginning. So I was wondering how you deal with that kind of dynamic within a film. We've had the same intimacy coordinator on both movies, Corinne Evans, who's uh, lovely, uh, very professional. And, uh, and so that made it easy. We also just like Corinne as a human being. She's really cool. Um, so that made it easy. Uh, with the comedy stuff, comedy makes it easier, honestly. Because the thing is, is like, it's harder to know what looks sexy from behind the camera than it is what's funny. Because funnier, you can be more slapstick. You can take a little more liberty with it. It doesn't have to be as uh, refined. Looking sexy is harder than looking funny. Agreed. That's for sure. Amazing. Um, and, and final question. I feel like this is a great series of Legion of Fans. Would there be like a third film, maybe like Beautiful Parenthood, where like Travis and they all go into like parenthood and have children? <laughs> I'd like to believe they're going to have a teeny tiny little fighter baby. <laughs> fighter gambler. Fighter gambler baby. It's baby's a whirlwind, man. Um, <laughs> we can't say. Yeah. We're just humble actors. We're just happy to be here. Happy to be here. I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!